Air sharing alternatives to commercial airlines inspired by Uber and Airbnb are popping up, allowing those of more moderate means to fly private, or some semblance of private at least. Here with the story is WSJ Middle Seat columnist Scott McCartney. Scott, thanks so much for joining us. Good to be with you, Tanya. So, Scott, these monthly fee jet share startups have a mixed record of survival, correct? Yeah, there's already been some shakeout. Uh, there was a, a company in the Boston, uh, New York market called Beacon uh, that shut down in April. There was a, a, a rideshare um, private jet service called Black Jet mm -hmm. uh, that mm -hmm. shut down in, in May. Um, but there are some uh, survivors. There are, there are three different models of these things that are working. There are a couple of... Uh, of short hop shuttle services, Rise Air and Surf Air, that have been around uh, for more than uh, in uh, a year to three years. Um, uh, there are the private jet um, uh, shared seat service, like uh, Jet Smarter, which mm -hmm. seems to be doing very well and has deep financing. And now there are a couple of uh, uh, two guys who are taking uh, discarded airline regional jets, putting 30 seats on them and running scheduled service um, out of places that have lost airline service, but with only 30 seats, they can do it uh, from private jet terminals and avoid all the airport hassles. That sounds great. Now let's delve in this a little deeper and see uh, who can afford to do this. What are the typical membership fees here? So for, for Rise Air, which uh, does shuttle flights around Texas with King Air turboprops, uh, and Surf Air, which uh, uh, does uh, turboprop flights in California, uh, their their memberships are, are just under two thousand dollars a month, eighteen fifty, nineteen fifty, um, and that's for all you can fly. Uh, oh. So people who do it say, you know, you get four flights a month for your two thousand dollars, and pretty soon you're you're starting to be uh, really competitive with Southwest Airlines fares or or other airline fares. Um, it's uh, it's faster, it's more convenient. Uh, a lot of business travelers really like those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the the thirty seat uh, uh, regional jet um, sort of luxury model. Um, those guys are offering fares as low as ninety nine dollars. That's not a membership thing. Um, they're flying out of small airports. Um, the fares do go up as high as uh, seven fifty or so. Uh, for a round trip, but uh, certainly competitive with with airline fares. Wow! And then the, uh, and then the membership uh, clubs for for private jets, um, that's generally ten fifteen thousand dollars a year uh, for the membership. Um, but that's uh, also an all you can fly uh, kind of service. Um, right. So. Uh, there are a couple different ways to do it, but um, you could save a ton of money off of uh, private jet flying if you're willing to share seats with people on a small jet. Absolutely. But let's talk about some of the limitations, though, because these companies don't fly everywhere. Right, Scott? Where are the major hubs right now? Yeah. So so Rise is major hub is in Dallas. Dallas, Houston is its big market. Uh, Surf Air, um, the Los Angeles basin to the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, that's its uh, bread and butter. Um, uh, uh, Jet Suite X uh, flies out of Burbank to Las Vegas and to Concord, California, which is uh, northeast of Oakland. Um, and and Jet Smarter um, has about 14 uh, U.S. routes, um, uh, a similar number, of, uh, some routes in Europe, some routes in the Middle East, where they actually offer shuttle jet service. So wow. between. Uh, Van Nuys, California, and Morristown, New Jersey, basically L.A. to New York. Uh, they fly uh, three or four scheduled shuttles a week. They fly three or four scheduled shuttles between New York and Florida. But customers can add uh, flights as, as demand increases. Now, if you're the one who originates the flight, um, there's a fee that you pay. You get to pick your seats first and things like that. Still a whole lot uh, cheaper than uh, chartering your own jet. Um, and, and comparable with some airline first class tickets. Um, right. So uh, last week from New York to Florida, they had 25 different uh, shuttle flights. People can uh, jump on those if there are seats and, and they're members. And they also do empty leg flights. And those are sort of last minute. Uh, so the, the charter company has to reposition a plane. Uh, there's nobody scheduled on it. They open up those on their app. And like Uber, you see something you like, you you grab it and there you go. So it's great. I mean, the advantages, things like quick, easy takeoff from small airports, free valet parking. But some of the people joining these these jet shares have never flown private before. Right, Scott? And some are actually surprised at how small the planes are. Yeah, that's right. A, a majority of folks uh, at these things. I mean, it's a it's a uh, more affordable way to get into the world of, of private aviation. 
Um, but you, you you don't realize that there may be ten people on that on that shuttle from Van Nuys to Morristown, New Jersey, and uh, and you you arrived fifteen minutes before the flight. Uh, you it was completely hassle free. Uh, you're going to get a helicopter ride in New Jersey into Manhattan is all great, except uh, you're sitting in five hours. Uh, some of those planes have a have a couch. You may be sitting with with a stranger on the seats. Uh, sometimes are. Uh, face each other. So, uh, you know, it, it can be uh, those tubes are generally, uh, uh, you know, some larger jets are uh, you can stand up in mm-hmm. smaller jets. The, the height is uh, under five feet. Um, so you're hunched over. Uh, they can be, you know, it's a small tube and you put 10 people in there and they're uh, now some people love it. It's very social. They make a lot of friends uh, doing that. But um, yeah. uh, you are in close quarters. Right. I guess as one of your subjects put it, there's a question as to whether a private plane share is really flying private when you're playing footsie with the stranger in front of you. Right, Scott? <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for that. Sure.